Hello and welcome to the 44th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX JavaScript tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll be looking at how to push a scene. Pushing a scene, this can be useful in a game if for example you're on a game screen pretty much any sort of game you've played and you click the pause button instead of replacing the actual scene you're on it just pushes a new scene on top so the current scene which will be the game scene is halted temporarily so the update and the draws are halted and it draws and updates the pause screen so when you click resume what you've been doing in the game screen is currently still there so you don't have to keep track of it basically Cocos 2DX does all that for you and quite a lot of other game engines will this tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 43 if you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial I'm going to go and open up the project from tutorial 43 In tutorial 43 we created a new scene, we just call it new scene, and we also modified the current scene with having a global variable called initialize my app, which is initially declared to false. And at the bottom when you enter the scene it checks is it has it been initialized? If it hasn't, then initialize it, but it sets the initialized variable to true. In the new scene we have a similar method because obviously we just copy and pasted it but to be able to use the new scene you want to go to the main.js and just add it as an app file we just do comma um, and then inside you want to do source forward slash new theme dot js or whatever it is called it doesn't really matter there you go that's all you want to do inside the main.js and you want to go back to the myapp.js and here we're going to create a menu first we're going to comment out the sprite itself so this doesn't get in the way I'm going to create a menu item first so var menu underscore item underscore one equals cc dot menu item font dot create open close bracket in here first we specify what the actual item says so it's going to say play then we put the actual callback function so it's this dot play which we'll be creating in a moment and then we specify the target which is this we we'll create a menu so var menu equals cc dot menu dot create open bracket menu item one close bracket semicolon and do menu dot align mm, items vertically just let it automatically position it because this tutorial isn't about menus I'm just putting a menu in there to be able to illustrate pushing a scene this dot add child open bracket menu close bracket semicolon and now we just need to actually create the form the actual play function itself so we do play colon function open close bracket curly braces and then inside we're going to do var scene equals cc dot scene dot create open close bracket semicolon to end the line we're going to create a layer variable so var layer equals new new scene the new scene is in here in there, so you want to go back to the my app. So new scene, open close bracket, semicolon. So scene dot add child, open bracket, add the layer of the child, semicolon. Do director dot push scene, open close bracket scene. I know I spelled scene wrong in push scene. Just need to obviously correct that. I'm just going to sort out the formatting. Sort of the format in here. You may be wondering, we've called this directory that push scene, but anywhere in here you can't see the, the director variable. That's because it's not actually in here. If you go to main.js, it's declared here var director equals cc.director.push. 
get instance and because it's part of the app file because when you run your code and if you go to the app delegate.cpp it calls the main.js when you actually run the application and then it goes into here gets the basically all the files that you want the resource file we haven't done anything with it it's just there by default you can delete it if you want to there's a my app and there's a new one that we put new theme.js just requires all the files that we need that's the reason we need to put it here and and then it just sets it to 60 frames a second and it sets to display stat statistics which is also like frame rate, how many objects you got etc but then it just actually runs with this scene you only do the run with scene once so that's the one you want to run with it originally afterwards you do push, pop, replace those sort of functionality if you go back to the myapp.js everything here should hopefully work now if I just click play You'll see a menu with a play button. I click on it. It will take me to the new scene.js, which will have a sprite. Click play. There you go. I'm here. Obviously, I can't go back. That will be for the next tutorial, which will be actually popping this scene. So, this is essentially like the pause menu. And when you click it, it'll pop the scene, so it'll go essentially go back to the game menu. That's how you can think of it in terms of real-world uh, terms. But that popping scene is for the next tutorial. This tutorial is covered how to push a scene. As I said before, all the source code will be in the description via links. If you have any questions, feel free to message us. And thanks for watching.